We have a Christmas comet coming in. How to spot 2018's interplanetary bauble. This is by The Conversation. Jack Clark, PhD, candidate, University of Southern Queensland, Australia. We're in for a pre-Christmas treat this weekend as the cosmos entertains us with two equally exciting gifts, the Geminid meteor shower and the interplanetary comet 46P Wirtanen. The Geminids are actually an annual event, but the comet is a less frequent visitor, making a very close approach to Earth this year. So what makes 46P Wirtanen so special? And when can we see this comet hurtling across our skies? Comets in orbit? Comets come in a variety of shapes and sizes, with the infamous Hale-Bob comet roughly 120 kilometers across. Comet 46P Wirtanen is much smaller, it's just 1.2 kilometers across. Most comets predominantly made from dust and ices spend the majority of their life within the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a spherical shell of icy objects that surrounds our solar system far beyond the orbits of the main planets. Some comets are in elliptical orbits that periodically bring them closer to the sun, but 46P Wirtanen's orbit does not extend out to the Oort cloud. It's known as a Jupiter orbiting comet, one whose orbit only extends as far as Jupiter's. Having a close-in orbit has its benefits, including a shorter orbit, so 46P Wirtanen whizzes past Earth every five and a half years. Compare that with Halley's Comet, last seen at close quarters in 1986, and whose next encounter with Earth is scheduled for 2061. A tale of two tales. Our fist of 46P Wirtanen's anatomy is no different to any other comet, having a nucleus, the ball of dust and ices, a coma, a fuzzy atmosphere surrounding the nucleus, and the iconic tails residing behind it. Comets have two distinctively different tails. As comets travel closer towards the sun, the volatiles, that is gas, ice, will, with low boiling points within the comet, start to heat up and evaporate, causing these iconic streaming tails to follow behind the comet. The straighter and bluer the tail is caused by energizing charged particles from the sun, known as the solar wind, interacting with gas within the comet's coma. This interaction causes gas to ionize and be swept away from the sheer force of our sun's immense magnetic field. Because these particles are following the sun's magnetic field lines, this tail will always point directly away from the sun. Dust from the coma and nucleus can be carried away just by the pressure from the sun's radiation causing the fuzzier and more iconic dust tail streaming behind a glowing comet. Comet 46P Wirtanen will be no different this weekend as it streams across our night sky. A close encounter? Comet 46P Wirtanen is a periodical comet. That's where the P in its name comes from, meaning periodical. That took almost 12 months to confirm its existence after its discovery, January 17, 1948, by American astronomer Carr Will Tannen. Even though the comet whizzes past Earth's orbit every five and a half years, due to the nature of celestial orbits and geometry, its brightness is in the night sky during its closest approach will vary from visit to visit. This weekend is a real treat, with 46P where Tannen making its closest and brightest approach to Earth for years, a mere million, 11 million kilometers away, and it won't come this close again until 2038. Where and when to look? Even with this small stature, 2046P Wirtanen's visible comma will extend near to a million kilometers and can be seen from Earth. Astronomers have optimistically predicted that the comet might even be bright enough to see in an urban backyard with an expected magnitude between four to three. For reference, Ginnon, the fifth brightest star in the Southern Cross, the star just off center, has a magnitude of four. This brightness, however, will be dispersed over an exacted area, expected area three times the size of the full moon at its closest point to Earth. Time to dust off your binoculars prior to Saturday's flyby. These will be the perfect tools to observe 46P Wirtanen. 
Rural and regional Australians are in prime position to witness 46p were tannin, having darker, clearer skies than those living in cities and suburban hubs. And if you can, head out to a dark sky, grab your deck chair, and enjoy the celestial displays of our cosmic backyard. An update on my channel's content. The content of videos that will be placed on my Patreon account will be more diverse, more specific, having to do with subjects that are deeply sourced and researched, such as, for example, what others may be saying concerning the recent California fires and other important facts that we should know. Now, this will not be put on the YouTube channel, but it will be on videos in my Patreon account. For those who are interested, please sign up there. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account, since that's the only way I can continue what you like seeing on this channel. Thank you. You'll find it in the description box below.